I know I am going to go watch Strays, which has Will Ferrell, and I think it's also got like Ryan Reynolds. It's got it, it's basically like it's George Lopez, it's of, isn't it? I don't know if George Lopez is in it. Like it's it's one of those movies that's kind of bringing back the live action talking animals genre back. Because it seemed like those movies were sort of done for, but like for the first time in a long time, I'm seeing what feels like you know. Oh, it's Jamie, Fox. Jamie, Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox. And Jamie Fox. Will Ferrell. So you've got like these and big Eva time Fisher, actors too. I she is a great comedic talent in her own right, and so all of these A list actors are taking on the voice character, voicing the roles of these live action animals who are talking. Of course, it's kind of like. Like nowadays, we see a lot of these movies happen, but they tend to be animated. Like you know, the the what was the the DC Super Pets movie that came out with Kevin Hart and The Rock, and it was oh, and Keanu Reeves was voicing Batman, I think too. So we're seeing the, 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 basically probably a, a return to this genre, the subgenre of films that that I used to love. I mean, they te- they at some point just became like a st- direct to video kind of a genre where, like talking animals wasn't really like the Beverly Hills Ch- Chihuahua or the yeah. cats and dogs movies. Like they, they, they weren't very much appealing to a wide audience, but this movie on the other hand is rated R and they've been very clear about it in the marketing that this is not meant to be your family friendly talking animals movie. So you should not like it's, it's, it's in like oh big, God. there's a big R on the poster. It's like, you know, it, it gets raunchy, the trailer, there's a red band trailer for this out this there. This is like one of those movies that I am gonna wait until it comes out to go see it. <laughs> so you let me yeah. know. I am not gonna go see it in theaters. I just won't. okay. Well, I'll let you. Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to convince you to go check it out. Maybe on the maybe. second. Maybe I'm enough. like I don't really love that genre. That genre for me yeah. was kind of like a fake talking animal oh that's kind of funny okay that's kind of, kind of funny but i'm also really weird in the sense that i don't love will ferrell really okay i don't love will ferrell he has this sort of like stupid humor that is so dumb that like I, sometimes i just find it more like self-deprecating than anything else i'm like wh- what is I feel like you're insulting my intelligence by how dumb that joke was. And that's just his style of humor. And I'm one of maybe one of maybe a hundred thousand people on this planet that don't love Will Ferrell. I just don't love him. And so when people give me reasons and they're like, no, you have to go see this, like Talladega Nights, I'm like, okay, I'll go watch Talladega Nights. Okay, I laughed a couple of times. <laughs> Is it the funniest thing on planet Earth? No. It is not. There's definitely like part. Yeah, that movie wasn't like. It, it, I had a mixed reaction to that film. I was like, it has moments, but it's not Look really. Even Step Brothers, I'm like. Yeah. Even Anchorman, like I don't yeah. enjoy all of the Anchorman movies. Yeah. I enjoy parts of the Anchorman movie. <laughs> and so that's my biggest thing is like I don't love him. Like some people love him. So do I think a lot of people are gonna go see this movie for him? Absolutely. I feel like it's his first movie in a minute. He took a break. Well, no, he was. He's in Barbie. He's oh, he's the CEO in Barbie. <laughs> he was in Barbie. Right? I totally overlooked Will Ferrell in Barbie. Hilarious. Yeah, um, I mean, he's he's had a good year. He did that uh, Christmas movie, the, the the musical with Ryan uh, Reynolds last year. I don't know if you saw it it's on Apple TV Plus. That was not the greatest thing ever, but it was certainly like if you like musicals, I guess you'll enjoy it. Like I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's giving like Elf, but not quite. I, just, I mean, Elf is probably like I think as far as the Will Ferrell's Mountain of Greatness, like I think Elf still sits like very much at the top for me. Yeah, and that's even probably Elf peak for me. I'm like Will Ferrell for me. Eh. Like, eh. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't love him. It is even crazy. even. Do you remember he was like a spe- he had a special guest appearance for a f- like a recurring role for a few episodes in The Office once Michael Scott's character like well, uh, Will, uh, Steve Carell leaves. And Michael Scott's no longer the manager of Dunder Mifflin. Steve Carell's character, not Steve Carell, uh, Bill Farrell's character kind of comes in for a few episodes. I don't, even that was like, I was like, I don't know if that's the right fit. But I generally enjoy his stuff. Like, I like, I like the Daddy, Daddy's Home, Daddy's Home too with Mark Wahlberg. Those are fun. Um, although I probably enjoy them more from Mar- Mark Wahlberg's character than I do for. Which is Will weird Ferrell. to me, right? Like, Will Ferrell, SNL, forever. Yeah. 
Mark Wahlberg a better comedian? Like, I don't, I wouldn't say that. It's just, I don't know. Something about Will Ferrell's humor to me is just not that funny. And it never has been. Even his old skits on SNL, I'm like, get off the stage. I want to see the other (laughs) people. And look, people are going to come for me for that one. I know it. I'm throwing myself out there. I know you guys are going to be like, no, you're wrong. You don't know anything about comedy. I don't care. I don't love him. It's it's fine. I love some comedians. I love Dave Chappelle. I love old Eddie Murphy like comedy. I love Jason Sudeikis. I love. I mean, some of the newer peeps. I'm like me, but I truly do. I love comedy. I love stand up comedy. I don't love Will Ferrell. There's something about his humor. I just it's not about it. So this movie is kind of like. Whatever. You go watch it. You let me know. And then I'll watch it when it comes out on my TV. On your TV. Okay. Uh, by, by the way, you know, they're, they're doing a new Beverly Hills Cop movie with, with uh, Eddie Murphy. They're doing, an, they're doing a donkey spinoff for Sh- Shrek. And they're doing a new Shrek movie. So Eddie Murphy's going to be part of both of those. I love. I and love. then also, did you know that We Are the Millers just turned 15? That movie, I think, which like I couldn't. I'm like, really? It's 15 years old. Like, wow. Yeah, Um, there are a lot of movies that are hitting big anniversaries. And I'm like, yeah, I got old. How did that mm -hmm. happen? Oh, like I was watching Are We There Yet or Are We Done Yet? And like, all those movies are like 20 years old now. I'm like, no. Why? How? Like, like I I just don't, it doesn't feel like they're 20 years old. Okay. but you know, so is Elf. I guess Elf is also like twenty something years old at this yeah. point. But but hey, Strays, um, it, it's it's the live action talking animals genre, like making a return. But this time it's rated R. So like, definitely, you know, uh, don't take your kids, or if you do take your kids, make sure they're you know, at least teenagers. Like, don't they take your five year old. Um, but yeah, um, let us know what you guys, if you guys check, go check out the movie and if you like it, tell us in the comments below. Of course, if you like Angelina's take on Will Ferrell or, you know, the, then hit the like button or hit the dislike button. You know, you can let us know. We, Don't either hit way. the dislike um, button. Just <laughs> call me out in the comments. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. But also just hit the subscribe button because we do appreciate that. That helps us uh, out a lot. Uh, We will be talking about, of course, so many more movies next week. As always, we'll be talking about Strays. We'll be talking about Blue Beetle. I'm so excited for that. And then hopefully we'll be looking ahead to Gran Turismo again because it will go wide a week from uh, this Friday. So we'll be back with more to talk about next week. Until then, guys, go out, check out a movie. Uh, come back, check us out. We are doing we're doing new stuff every day. It's still the summer months out there. Get get your sunlight before we lose all that extra sunlight and the daylight hours shrink. It's on its, until, it's on its way out. It's on its way out. It is. It's it's like already halfway through August. I can't believe it. The time just like flies sometimes. Yeah. But uh, anyway, well, um, it's been great talking to you, Angelina. We'll be back yeah, next week talking about strays and uh, blue beetle. Until then, uh, have a great and fantastic week ahead.